there, Jeff in the Dallas, Oregon here, doing a video on installing a pyrometer, an exhaust gas pyrometer, in a diesel uh, pickup. This particular video is going to cover the uh, 5.9 Cummins, the uh, model with the electric injectors, uh, the common rail. Uh, other trucks are similar. Uh, for this project, I like a nice clean factory look, and I've chosen this uh, particular gauge because it matches the Dodge uh, factory gauges precisely. It has the uh, orange arm, uh, black letters that uh, glow green in the, uh, when the headlights are on. Uh, also, since I like things nice and factory looking, for a mount I'm going to be using this uh, A-pillar cover. It's actually a Mopar part. Uh, where the SRT-10 uh, pickup has its uh, boost gauge. So the texture and color uh, matches the factory interior uh, perfectly. Hopefully when we get done it will look like a nice uh, clean factory job. Uh, additional things other than those two that we're going to be needing. Uh, an assortment of uh, convoluted split loom uh, Tubing makes the uh, wiring look nice and sharp and also gives it some extra protection from uh, chafing. Got a inline fuse holder here. Uh, Going to wire it to the uh, cigarette lighter socket for key on power and uh, that circuit of course is fused a little uh, too heavy to protect this gauge so we'll put in a smaller uh, fuse there. Uh, other things we're going to need is an eighth inch uh, NPT uh, pipe thread, basically tap, and uh, the appropriate uh, drill bit, uh, which is uh, 11 30 seconds. Going to need some uh, Molly anti seize for the uh, thermal couple, couple holder that we'll be putting in the manifold. And the normal uh, soldering iron, solder, uh, zip ties, uh, electrical tape, uh, normal hand tool uh, kind of stuff. We'll also need some uh, just general purpose wheel bearing grease uh, to keep uh, metal chips from uh, falling into the manifold when we drill it. Uh, the truck I'm working on now is equipped with the Cummins uh, Jake Brake, and on the later models of uh, that Jake Brake, it came uh, pre drilled and tapped for a pyrometer. But I prefer to have my pyrometer pre turbo, so we'll be installing it in the exhaust manifold. Um, that's an issue that's uh, brought up some debate. Uh, people get a little paranoid about getting uh, metal chips uh, through the turbo. I've never really heard of anybody damaging a turbo, but I suppose if you got a uh, big curly Q metal down in the manifold and just from carelessness it could cause damage but I think if you use uh, normal precautions like greasing the drill and tap so as few chips fall in as possible and also once we've got the hole in there we'll reach in with a uh, magnetic uh, wand and pick up any flakes. So anyhow let's uh, take a look and see what we've got uh, with this gauge uh, previous versions by this manufacturer had a separate uh, little computer brain in a box. This one doesn't require that. But it got the gauge itself and a uh, place for a connector on the back. The uh, thermocouple came with a uh, little clamp down piece and a chunk of tape on the thermal couple to keep that from falling out and a connector. Also came with this uh, waterproof connector and piece of wire uh, for the leads for the thermal couple. Got it out of the box here because I sort of wanted it to uh, flatten out a little bit from the way they had it wound up tight. Uh, then they gave us some other wires. Uh, in addition to the leads from the thermocouple, the uh, gauge needs uh, key on power, a lead to ground, and a lead to the uh, dimmer circuit on the dash uh, in order for the gauge's light to uh, work with the instrument lights. The other thing that came uh, was the uh, mating connector for the back of the gauge. It's got a uh, little uh, 
places to push in each wire with a small screwdriver um, seated at the bottom there and it just pierces the insulation. Uh, with that came this little insertion tool uh, which is designed to uh, fit over the plug. only fits one way, must be the other way. Fit over the back of the plug and push the uh, wires down into those uh, prongs there that catch them. And then there's a little uh, cap that uh, slides there and snaps into place to lock the wires into place. And the uh, gauge also came with some handy directions. So that's pretty much it for that. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, first step will be drilling the hole in the exhaust manifold in order to mount the uh, pyrometer. Okay, I thought we'd take a quick uh, closer look at our components here. This is the gauge, and uh, here you can get a better look at the uh, plug in the back of it. The uh, thermocouple and its uh, connector that mates to that piece of blue wire. This is a thermocouple holder. Basically, you've got a little shoulder there, a collet, and the uh, NPT end that threads into the manifold and the other end uh, that that collet threads onto. It's tapered inside to uh, clamp the probe. And uh, there's our little fuse holder and tap and drill and stuff. Okay, here's the uh, pickup we're working on today. Has the uh, 5.9 Cummins. This one happens to be equipped with a stick shift. Uh, for thermocouple uh, location, I'm going to choose the uh, horizontal runner of the exhaust manifold right here. Makes just a handy spot to get through with the drill and tap. Then the uh, wiring up along this factory wiring here, we'll put that in uh, black uh, convoluted tubing like the uh, factory wire is and zip tie it along here. Then up here under the, uh, down in there under the driver's side firewall is a big rubber plug from the factory. I believe it's the provision for the shift linkage uh, if you got the automatic transmission. Uh, in any case that makes a handy spot to uh, cut a little hole and run the uh, wire uh, through it and still have a nice uh, tight seal not let any fumes or anything get into the uh, cab. Uh, it's a good place to run uh, wires say for the uh, control of the jake brake and that kind of stuff too. Okay, here we are up at the engine. Uh, a person can put the pyrometer probe pretty much wherever you want. Uh, some folks prefer to put it uh, right above the uh, turbocharger. Uh, like I said previously, I'm going to go with this horizontal run here. Uh, basically in the middle of that run where I can get a, a drill bit at it easily. I don't know if I can actually center punch this, if it's too hard or not, but uh, with those numbers stamped in it, it uh, might not really need it. I think we'll shoot for right about there. And yeah, that made us a little mark. Step ladder is handy on a 4x4 pickup. Prefer to come over the side so I'm not uh, smashing the uh, fins on the intercooler. That looks about square. Uh, Going to start without any grease for right now. Uh, until I get uh, through some of the metal. Then I've got a little uh, wheel bearing grease on a paper plate here so I don't get metal chips uh, back in the grease can. And uh, once I've got the hole drilled, I've got my tap here. Uh, being a pipe thread tap, it's tapered. 
So I'll run it up, you know, half a turn, back it out, clear the chips out, and run it forward, so on. And uh, when I start getting about the right depth, I'll start threading in this uh, uh, probe holder until I get it to where about the full depth of the uh, threads of the probe holder are in the uh, manifold. In other words, what I'm shooting for is when I tighten this down, I'll see if I can't get the uh, end of this probe holder uh, flush with the inside edge of the uh, exhaust manifold, if that makes sense. <laughs>